fast and furious world of Wall Street has a little in common with the graceful and gorgeous world of ballet? Better not tell that to Goldman Sachs partner Valentino Carlotti. He is the patron of the one and only Misty Copeland, perhaps the fastest rising star in the world of dance, and some say in the world of sport. Earlier this week, she became the first African-American woman to be named the principal dancer at the American Ballet Theater. Copley, Copeland backer Valentino Carlotti is with us now. Valentino, when we think of a Goldman guy, a guy who spent the last five years running Goldman's Brazil division, I'm not sure we draw a parallel to a woman ballerina. How would you even get in this game? Well, well, first of all, you began with saying she was incredibly elegant. Uh, I wish we were half as elegant as she is. Uh, but, um, you know, it's, it's funny. I came into your building, and when I came into the building, they asked me, hey, we know who you are. I said, well, how do you know who, we are, who I am? Well, we, we've got your ID. We, we prep for you. That spoke to a certain culture and a way of doing things, right? One of the things that attracted me about Misty as of watching her dance is what does it take to perform at that level? To do it day in, day out, to have that kind of excellence, to have that kind of grace, to do the, the work that she does in the precise way that she does that I could learn from and apply to myself. Of course, I don't know if you've ever seen her dance. She's incredibly beautiful. Her dance is incredibly beautiful. And she creates beauty on a daily basis. But did you ever think she was going to have the cultural impact she has or, or in sports? If you think about it yesterday, Misty, on the cover of the New York Times, she's an Under Armour signed athlete. They had the number one advertisement in their history because of Misty. Yeah. Not Tom Brady, not Steph Curry, not Jordan Spieth. Did you think she was going to have this kind of impact on the world? Well, you know, uh, the interesting thing about Misty is she's always focused on dance, and that's why she's doing it. So, so that is her North Star. She's always focused on how can I perform well. Uh, so you, you never think about, okay, making principal or what the impact is going to be. But, of course, as a black woman dancing in a profession that's, you know, there's very few black women, if any, at her level, uh, of course, you know that if she reached this level, it was going to be amazing and have a huge impact. You do see that when you attend the shows and watch her dance. The audience is incredible and diverse to come see her dance. Have you, have you always been a fan of the ballet? Because you'd expect a Goldman Sachs partner more likely to team up with Jordan Spieth. You know, bankers play golf. But the ballet, uh, as popular as, as it is in the sort of upper classes and elite here in New York, is not really the average guy's kind of game. Uh, well, well, I was an athlete all my life growing up uh, 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 as well, playing basketball, football, soccer. Uh, so athletics was something that was always attractive to me. But I came from a family that emphasized being a well-rounded person, getting into the arts, literature, science, math. Uh, and frankly, uh, when I was a younger uh, guy, my niece was a dancer, and we used to always play around doing ballets, and she was the, the ballerina and I was her partner. Uh, so I've always liked, liked dance, uh, always attended uh, dance. And again, if you've ever seen a ballet, certainly a ballet that Misty has uh, performed in, it's just incredible and beautiful. What does her success mean to the African-American community? You know, it's just another example of... of, of of showing that all pursuits are for all peoples, right? Um, and it just removes the barrier that people might have that you can't do something because of your skin color or your ethnicity or your race or your culture. Uh, and so, of course, the entire black community is incredibly proud. And Misty, uh, you know, when you ask her, how come you talk about being a black dancer all the time? She says, well, because it's part of who I am. It is who I am. And that's part of her story and her journey. And it has had implications in how she has come on this path. You've said a great dancer could be a great banker. Yeah. Why? Yeah. I mean, the things they have to do, if you ever go and see them rehearse, first of all, they're rehearsing eight, nine hours a day. I've seen a lot of fat bankers. The work oh, ethic. Hold, hold, hold on. Let me, let me get yeah. there. They, 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 they rehearse eight, nine hours a day. Uh, they take class every day. But to do that day in, day out, and to operate at a level of excellence on a day-to-day -day basis is incredible. So as a banker at, at Goldman Sachs, we're in the pursuit of excellence. We're trying to do the best we can. We're trying to serve our clients the best we can. The ethic we try to promote in our people is pursuit of excellence, first-class you know, uh, product all the time. And so if you watch Misty uh, and you watch her perform and you watch her prepare, or any of the dancers, the rigor they have, the discipline they have, the preparation they have, the mental toughness they have, the physical toughness they have, for me, it's incredibly inspiring, and I constantly look to, 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 to learn from that.
Is there a parallel? I mean, you went into the world of investment banking where there were very few African Americans. Yes. Misty went into dancing, very few African American dancers. Do you feel a connection, a kinship to the road she's uh, been on? Of course. You know, in fact, you know, the career path is almost the same. There's the court of LA, the soloist, the principal at Goldman's, the analyst, the associate vice president, managing director, partner. So that track is is, is similar, almost identical in title. Um, and there are, you know, still too few. Uh, people of color on Wall Street, still too few women on Wall Street. So you can't but, you know, feel an affinity with someone like Misty. Well, you're changing it. So is Misty. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you so yeah, much. Goldman Sachs partner, Misty Copeland patron, Valentino Carlotta.